This was a Russian probe that was on its way to Mars, actually, the Phobos Grunt probe. It was going to be unique because it was going to go to Mars, go to the moon Phobos, and then bring back samples. But it never even reached low Earth orbit, and now it's going to come crashing back down probably this weekend. This weekend. Okay. Where is it going to land? Well, that's the good question. Now, the Americans aren't so sure about exactly where, but the Russians are pretty confident it will land in the Indian Ocean, perhaps just west of Indonesia. About 20 to 30 parts of it will survive, weighing a total of about 400 pounds. So there's a lot that's going to be coming back to Earth. And is it true that it's crammed full of poisonous and radioactive materials? It is, but most of that should be dissolved during the fiery re-entry. So even if it does land on someone, or no, not on someone, but near someone, it should not pose a, an imminent threat because all the dangerous stuff uh, will not survive re-entry. The, the Russians haven't had a great record with satellites recently, have they? Well, 2011 was an awful year. They had five failures of rockets. Uh, of their missions not being successful. And it's starting to hint now that maybe someone is to blame, perhaps throwing a little uh, diversion tactic here, and even perhaps suggesting that the U.S. is somehow acting nefariously and making their rockets fail somehow. But uh, it's all just being... Everyone thinks, really, they're just trying to cover up their mistakes. Hi, everybody. This is Sheila Aliens. Today is January 12th, 2012. Phobos Grunt is expected to be visible from Hawaii tomorrow night, the 13th, from Mauna Kea, which is great because, as you might know, Mauna Kea has a bunch of observatory webcams that we can go and get the footage from. There are 11 tons of hydrazine fuel on board. That is extremely toxic and highly flammable. The last satellite fueled with hydrazine that threatened to crash onto Earth was the American satellite 193. This was shot down by the USA on the 21st of February 2008. The reason given at the time was that there was a danger from the hydrazine fuel because it had frozen solid after the power supply failed. Now, I wonder if the hydrazine inside of Phobos Grunt has frozen solid. Makes you wonder. If you do some research on that, you'll see that it did cost about $43 million just to shoot that satellite down. Which, I don't know if it's just a money issue or because it's Russia's, because we don't have the right to shoot it down or what. But they're just going to let this one fall. And I don't know if the hydrazine in it has frozen or particularly why that's a bad thing. It doesn't sound like a good thing, but um, I don't know the exact details of that. I'm sure you can find it with a little bit of research. So that's what we know. Be on the lookout for Phobos Grant sighting via the Mauna Kea webcams, CFHT, Canada, France, Hawaii Telescope. And I was thinking it, it would be funny if Phobos Grunt, or anything really, was to fall down tomorrow. That's Friday the 13th, which is also the day that the movie Space Junk 3D hits theaters. Alright, thank you for watching. Much love. Yeah.